both Steven and I were assigned executive producers on the video, and the group as a whole worked probably the best on this task than they ever have before. How long did it take you guys to do that? Six hours. Six hours. Six hours. Our record label, the single most important thing we had to do was to select the first artist that we were going to work with. Hey guys. Hey. This is a box filled with the demos of all the unsigned artists that you guys liked prior to being hired. Your next job is to pick one of these to be the first signing to your label and present it to Lior later. But we are going to give you a little bit of help. So later on today, you're going to meet with Ahmed Erdogan, the founder of Atlantic Records, the guy that, that signed Ray Charles. Led Zeppelin, he's going to give you a little bit of insight and a little bit of help in, in trying to pick the, uh, the next platinum artist that we hope is in this box. And then you'll be presenting it to Lior. We all decided that it would be smart to listen to every single song before making a decision. Let's we'll go down and listen from top to the bottom. <laughs> I would definitely, definitely love to see this band and take them to the next level. I think we could get one hit. I think we could turn that song, produce it right. We could get a hit single out of it. I think Jimmy Cross and the Mob is very different. Like I said, I don't know many black yeah. rock artists that's really like rocking out and like doing it. Each of us believed strongly in our artists, but we knew that we all had to come together and select one artist for the entire group to work with. Sean Panda, yeah. The Drop, uh -huh. Waz, uh -huh. Jimmy Cross, uh -huh. show. Yay! <laughs> Good job, everyone, because nobody was arguing and screaming and yelling and walking out. Excellent I job. I'm really proud We met with Ahmed Erdogan, the founder of Atlantic Records, to get his opinion on selecting unsigned bands. So, we came up with five artists, and we'd like to play you those five artists and their songs. The Drop. There's nothing in it that is mind blowing. How you even gonna try to play me? Talking about girl, can we be as one? What I really need, simplicity. He's a fine singer. It's, it's a it's a very good song. Jimmy Cross. I think it's Jimmy Cross and Mob. There certainly is something there. It's not what you hear every day. There are two, in my mind, which are close to making it with some work. One is Trasho, and the other one is Sean Pander. The Drop and Jimmy Cross need work. It meant a lot to me that he took the time to listen to our five artists. Thank you, dear. After we met with Amit, we deliberated a little more. We should probably narrow it down to two bands. I'm really behind Sean Pander for this, just because a couple years from now, he could still fit, and we could still shop him as an artist. That was the only artist he listened to twice. Rianne's artist was Sean Pander, so she was really supporting him. Yancey brought in Jimmy Cross of the Mob. I think the unique thing about Jimmy is that Jimmy raps hood shit just as he raps his rock shit. We finally decided to use Jimmy Cross. One, two, three, Jimmy Cross! Hi, Milena. Yancey. What's going on? Yeah. How are you? Good to see you. You guys have a artist that you're feeling good about? Jimmy Cross and the Mob is a rock artist as well as a rap artist. He's hot at both of them. Um, he's a superstar. Does he play out and on his rap shit? Yeah, but not this way. No, not not yet. I think so. He's no done one's seen show. him this way live. No, no. Since he hasn't done it yet, no one can tell for sure whether he's truthful doing this. Right. What if he's not believable? Then then you screwed. I mean, I'm screwed. But he told us that we're not gonna win this by being safe. What if he's just like um, more of a schemer than actually 
believing that this is his destiny. If he's faking, he's a good faker. We all like this music because it's different. Let's go against the grain. Let's try to create a new trend mm -hmm. instead of going with something that's safe. But I don't think you. I, I don't think you're creating a new trend with the uh, rock and rap together. If we decide we're not with this artist, who else you got? Our final pick was Jimmy Cross and the Mob, and as a backup, we picked Ross. believe in our artists very passionately, but we had to narrow it down to one. Only four people are going to be promoted. 